During an intense Senate hearing, Sen, John Kennedy fiercely questioned FDD Chairman Martin Gruenberg on his capability to lead amid widespread allegations of sexual harassment and discrimination. Kennedy's incisive inquiries cast a harsh light on Gruenberg's prolonged tenure and the systemic misconduct occurring under his leadership. But Gruenberg's answers, coupled with Kennedy's demand for his resignation, underscored the seriousness of the issue, prompting critical discussions about leadership accountability and the urgent need for cultural change when the FDI. Don't miss, what were the main findings of the Cleary Gottlieb report regarding the FDI EU? Why did Senator John Neely Kennedy question Martin J. Gruenberg's ability to lead the FDIC? Mr. Gruenberg, have you ever heard the expression, a fish rots from the head down? Yes, Senator. I understand you. I understand you. It demonstrates an openness to listen and empathize with each person's viewpoint. This openness extends to understanding various perspectives and valuing all voices, even those in positions of authority. I listen carefully to your testimony. Listen carefully to your testimony. Listening attentively and thoroughly evaluating the value and evidence of due process are vital. A fair and transparent judicial process must be in place, one that properly considers testimony. Do I understand you to assert that you're the you believe you're the person to clean up the FDIC? I do, Senator. Do you also believe that Elvis is alive? Not to my knowledge, Senator. Do you also believe in Bigfoot? No, sir. Uh, have you read this report? Yes, sir. You've been the chairman of the FDIC 10 of the last 13 years, haven't you? Yes, I have. And you've been there for 20 years almost, haven't you? Nearly, yes, sir. And this sleaze has been going on for decades, has it not? I think the report makes that finding, Senator. Did you read the report, the part of the report where, where uh, one of your supervisors described one of, one of your young female employees as being, quote, like a grizzly bear with tits, close quote? I, I've read the report, Senator. Did, did you read the part of the report where the uh, where an, one of your supervisors asked a, a young female employee, quote, does your husband eat you? Did you read that? I, I have read the report, Senator. Did, did you read the part of the report where one young employee said her supervisor sent, a, sent her a text? Do you know what the text said? Quote, get naked, bitch. Did you read that? Yes, sir. D did you read the part of the report where one of your supervisors um, turned to, to one of your Hispanic employees and, and asked him to recite the Pledge of Allegiance to prove that he is an American? Did you read that? I read it, sir. You're not going to be able to clean up the FDIC. You are not going to be able to clean up the FDI. Assessing one's capability to lead effectively amidst ongoing legal challenges is essential. It's crucial for leaders to maintain practical, undistracted leadership, allowing them to concentrate on their responsibilities without being sidetracked by personal legal matters. Because you're going to be too busy defending yourself in court. You will be too busy defending herself in court. Understanding the weight of responsibility and the real-world implications of legal entanglements is crucial. People appreciate leaders who can fully commit to their duties without the distraction and efficiency drain of legal defenses. I'm going to introduce a bill to extend the statute of limitations to allow every employee at the FDIC to file suit over the sexual abuse and this sexual discrimination, and this racism. I'm going to introduce a bill to extend the statute of limitations to allow every employee at the FDUC to file suit over the sexual abuse and sexual discrimination and racism. 
signifies a dedication to justice and safeguarding individual rights, highlights the vital role of legislative actions in guaranteeing that victims of abuse and discrimination have ample chances for redress, emphasizes a pledge to uphold moral and ethical principles within the institution. And you're going to be spending all your time in court. Now, the, the, uh, the, the, the uh, Clary Gottlieb report doesn't think you're the person to clean up the FDIC, does it? I don't know that the report reaches that conclusion, but it certainly has critical comments in regard to me, Senator. Well, I mean, the FDIC report says that, uh, it, it, it says that uh, even your senior leaders feel, quote, disrespected, disparaged, and treated unfairly by you. Disrespected, disparaged, and treated unfairly by you, ensuring fairness and respect towards employees is paramount. Cultivating an environment where every individual feels valued and respected is crucial. Leadership plays a pivotal role in nurturing a culture of respect and dignity within the workplace. Did I, did I quote that correctly? Yeah, I, I have read the report, Senator. And, and the, the Cleary Gottlieb report, it goes on to say um, that your long tenure and reputation for losing your temper and bullying people, quote, presents unique challenges, close quote, for you to change the agency. Did you read that part? I have read it, Senator. And, and the Cleary Gottlieb report also says it questions whether you have the, quote, moral authority to do so. Is that correct? I have read the report, Senator. Yes. You, you fixing this agency, Mr. Gruenberg, is like asking, it's like asking Alec Baldwin to conduct a course in gun safety. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And Mr. Sue, you ought to be ashamed of yourself for acting like a lick spittle here today, trying to defend this gentleman. Um... Have you ever read a worse report? Have you ever read a worse report? Addressing the gravity of the current issue is paramount. Both transparency and accountability hold significant weight, necessitating a thorough and candid assessment to efficiently tackle organizational challenges. Mr. Grunberg, in all your years? It's a bad report, Senator. Yeah, it's bad. Um... Look, I, I, I could go through this report. I'm, I'm embarrassed to have to even read some of these, some of these allegations. Would you, would, the, 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 these, the, the, these folks on the first row behind you, are they FDIC employees? These folks on the first row behind you, are they FDIC employees? Spotting the presence of FD personnel entails grasping the repercussions of managerial choices on the workforce. Displaying empathy towards staff members directly influenced by the organizational culture and managerial methodologies is imperative. Some of them are, Senator, yes. Would, would you like to turn around and apologize to the female employees sitting behind you at the FDIC? Would you like to turn around and apologize to the female employees sitting behind you at the FDI? In the realm of accountability and personal responsibility, there exists a fervent demand. It's not merely about admitting faults. It's about fostering a culture steeped in integrity and accountability. Leaders are urged not only to own up to their errors, but also to extend apologies to employees who find themselves in similar situations. I have, Senator. Would you like to do that now? If you ask me to, I will. I think you should. I apologize. And now I think you ought to resign. I'm done, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Senator Smith from Minnesota is recognized. Senator John Neely Kennedy's interrogation of FDI Chairman Martin Gruenberg shone a harsh light on the persistent problems plaguing the FDI. Kennedy's sarcastic questions about Elvis and Bigfoot underscored the absurdity he perceived in the agency's operations. Gruenberg, who has been with the FDIC for over 20 years, found himself under intense scrutiny for his role in perpetuating a toxic workplace culture. 
the exchange was peppered with sharp rebukes and calls for Gruenberg's resignation, highlighting the urgent need for strong leadership to address long-standing misconduct and rebuild trust in the agency. Kennedy's theatrics captured public attention, underscoring the critical need for transparent and decisive measures to correct institutional failures. John Neely Kennedy's sharp questioning highlights the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation's FDC misconduct report, aggressively scrutinizing Martin J. Gruenberg's suitability for leadership. This situation raises fundamental concerns about personal responsibility and authenticity in positions of power. Instead of being seen as a strength, Martin J. Gruenberg's long tenure is viewed as a potential source of corruption and stagnation. Kennedy's cynical reference to Elvis and Bigfoot brings attention to critical issues, reality, and truth. He likens his faith in Gruenberg's ability to reform the FDIQ to a belief in absurdity, implying Gruenberg's detachment from reality. Gruenberg's failure to recognize the gravity of the FDI's issues may indicate a lack of authenticity. The report's revelations of harassment, discrimination, and other misconduct impose a significant moral burden on FDI leadership. There is a strong emphasis on individual responsibility and ethical governance. Kennedy's demand for Gruenberg to apologize publicly and consider resignation calls for moral accountability aligned with democratic values of transparency and integrity. Reported instances of harassment and discrimination strike at the core of individual dignity and democratic principles. Describing the FDC as a hostile environment signifies a systemic failure to respect this dignity. Kennedy's questions underscore and condemn these failures, urging a return to a humane workplace culture. His inquiries seem designed to provoke an emotional response from Gruenberg and uncover the truth about the accusations and his involvement. Gruenberg's defensive and limited responses suggest a reluctance to fully acknowledge the severity of the issues or an inability to emotionally process the criticism. This defensiveness points to a deeper crisis of identity and purpose within the organization. The psychological impact on FDI employees witnessing their leader publicly criticized can be profound. This case might validate their experiences of abuse, but also incite anxiety about the organization's stability and future. To rebuild trust, therapeutic interventions are necessary to restore individual and collective dignity while emphasizing personal responsibility and ethical conduct. What do you think?